According to Patterson, the wharves along the river will also be repaired and upgraded prior to the resumption of the new Amsterdam Kokwani ferry service after an absence of nearly 10 years. With regards to New Amsterdam, we have attended, it's under construction, the government, uh, through the ministry, we are actually procuring um, two new river taxis for the um, New Amsterdam crossing. As you know, right now, um, we have a subsidized service whereby the all school children, um, teachers, nurses, etc., um, cross um, free, of course. Um, with the government and, and all our pensioners as well and all others persons pay a hundred and forty um, dollars to cross um, each way so we are going to enhance that enhance that service with, with, with the introduction of, of the government owned vessels um, for New Amsterdam so and, and obviously and, and should the demand increase we will increase um, our, our stock residents over the years had complained since the removal of this service several years ago saying that it has not been feasible for them to pay private operators as it is very costly causing some persons to to travel with other private vessels under pressure. Patterson also spoke about plans to construct a new singular dual lane fixed bridge across the Essequibo River at the Kurupakari ferry crossing, approximately 600 meters long. According to Minister of Public Infrastructure, who noted strategies are already in place and work should begin soon. We've been held, having consultations with the regional and the, um, the Indigenous Peoples Affairs community, the mining community as well, um, um, since 2015. We have a task force which is made up of the Mining Association, the Women Mining Association, the Syndicate, the Forest, um, the, the Manufacturers Association, Communities, Indigenous People Affairs. Um, so basically on everyone we meet once a quarter, um, particularly I could say for the miners, they would give, they would, they would submit their list, the, the Ghana Manufacturing, Manufacturing Association would submit their list, the in, um, Indigenous people, they would submit a list and we rank them which and what are the, um, the, the highest priorities and obviously the funding comes from the national coffers so obviously it also, we have to prioritize them and when we prioritize them we, we look at the benefit the maximum benefit that it will get to the largest among the persons or to a economic sector currently persons traveling the lindem letem trail cross the esequibo river at kurupukari by a river ferry operated by a private company for the evening news yanala dalrymple